Hey guys, it's Phil with the Minuteman Moment. According to Politico, President Biden is planning to nominate Steve Dettelbach, another anti-gunner to be director of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. Now, if you go into a little bit of history, gun owners were able to defeat David Chipman. That's Biden's last ATF director nominee. And Chipman had a pretty bad and scandalous history that included making millions of dollars lobbying against the Second Amendment on behalf of Michael Bloomberg and Gabby Giffords, working with Chinese state media to create anti-gun propaganda and downplay a massacre in China, and a whole bunch more that we covered plenty of times. But because of your activism and opposition, President Biden was forced to withdraw his nomination in September. But now, recent reports indicate another gun grabber may actually be nominated to lead the ATF as early as this month. That's April. The exact timing is unclear, but reports indicate that deliberations are ongoing and that Steve Dettelbach, a former federal attorney for the Northern District of Ohio, is seriously being considered by the White House for the post. But Dettelbach isn't simply a former federal attorney. In 2018, he unsuccessfully ran for public office, promising a host of new gun control initiatives if he was elected, which included an assault weapons ban, universal background checks, gun confiscation for misdemeanor crimes, gun confiscation for those dealing with mental health issues, closing the made up over the internet and fake gun show loopholes, disarming teachers and keeping schools as soft targets, also known as gun-free zones. In fact, Dettelbach used his position as a US attorney to advocate for gun control for years. He even published op-eds asking that universal background checks be required because they make sense. He even heavily weighed in on the mansion Toomey gun control proposal in 2013, condemning the Senate's failure to pass the universal background checks bill as disheartening. So here's a key question. Does Steve Dettelbach support the ATF's illegal gun registry? In recent months, Gun Owners of America and Representative Michael Cloud of Texas uncovered that the ATF has been maintaining an illegal turnkey national gun registry with nearly a billion firearm transaction records or Form 4473s in Martinsburg, West Virginia. And just to be clear, federal law prohibits the centralization of ATF records, maintaining a registry of guns or gun owners, and keeping records which are searchable by name. And what's even more interesting is that Steve Dettelbach acknowledged that this was illegal back in 2013 when he wrote one of those op-eds. In it, he wrote, some critics have argued that universal background checks will lead to a national gun registry, but establishing such a registry is against federal law and will remain illegal under the proposal. The existing background check system has been around for 14 years and there's no national registry of gun owners. Requiring a background check of gun buyers would not compromise the second amendment, which we respect, but as it turns out, in 2005 and 2006, the ATF illegally used money to begin converting out-of-business firearm transaction records and acquisition and disposition logs into a digital searchable database. Dettelbach said that federal law prohibits the creation of a gun registry. So what exactly does he think should happen with the 920 million plus records of guns, gun owners, and acquisition and dispositions currently in ATF's centralized database as of November, 2021? So the big question you have is how can I help? Well. We know that Steve Dettelbach is a big time gun control supporter and support for infringements on our constitutionally protected rights should disqualify anyone from public office, all public offices. But where does Dettelbach stand on maintaining ATF's illegal national gun registry? Will Steve Dettelbach enforce Biden's proposed rule expanding the ATF's illegal registry. Dettelbach needs to be held accountable for his opposition to the Bill of Rights should Biden formally nominate him in the coming weeks. And anyone nominated to lead the ATF must commit to disbanding any gun or gun owner registry currently maintained by the ATF. All right, that's it for this week. We're gonna have a lot more for you in the coming weeks and maybe months depending on how long this drags out. We'll see you next time.